Hi, my name is Deacon Jake Dunn. I'm a seminarian for the Archdiocese of Dubuque, preparing and studying to be a priest. And I was ordained a deacon a couple weeks ago. And now I'm going to be serving this summer here at Holy Spirit Parish. I'm really excited to be here. And I got to introduce myself this last weekend to the folks who went to Mass at Sacred Heart and Holy Trinity, or if you watched on the live stream from Sacred Heart. But I wanted to take the opportunity to kind of more fully introduce myself, knowing also that um, you know, because of the times we live in, many of you are not able to come to Mass right now, um, and, and we're not sure when, when everyone's going to be comfortable with that, um, which is fine because we have the dispensation, and don't come to Mass if you feel like you're sick or you know, what, you know, whatever, whatever it is. So just a little bit about myself. Um, I grew up in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Uh, pretty normal childhood. I had two. I have two brothers. Uh, my dad's an engineer. My mom's a nurse. Um, but growing up, my grandparents lived here in Dubuque. My parents both grew up south of town on farms south of town. And so, growing up, Dubuque was where we went. Came pretty often to uh, just be with grandparents. And I spent many a summer day over at Murphy Park and going through Eagle Point Park and just around town. Uh, the Morocco is my grandpa's favorite restaurant growing up, so I always remember Sherbert at Morocco, at the Morocco. So I really look forward to kind of reconnecting with Dubuque this summer, uh, which is kind of where the roots of my family are. So I went to Kennedy High School in Cedar Rapids, and after I went to Kennedy, I um, went on and st eventually studied uh, secondary education uh, at Iowa State University, uh, go Cyclones. Uh, but I eventually, I, I graduated in 2015 with a degree in history. Um, I kind of rushed through to get my degree done because while I was there at Iowa State University and the St. Thomas Aquinas Catholic Student Center, I uh, just came to further experience a call to priesthood. And it was especially during that time that I just began to grow in a relationship with the Lord. Uh, I was introduced to Eucharistic adoration, which I had never known growing up. I went to a, my family went to Mass and um, were a faithful family, but I just didn't have Eucharistic adoration at my parish growing up. But that was something that really opened my heart in a new way and put into my heart a desire to know the Lord more, to love the Lord more. And in that process of, of just spending time in prayer, um, speaking and listening with Jesus, I just began to experience a call to a greater commitment to the church, uh, to life in the church, and to a vocation to priesthood. So from Iowa State, I went on to two years at Loras College, uh, the St. Pius X Seminary there. And then for the last three years, I've been at Mundelein Seminary, which is where all the Dubuque men go which is in the Chicago area, the very, very north suburbs of Chicago, almost to Wisconsin. So um, my years of seminary have been uh, really wonderful years. I am more excited to be a priest today than I was five years ago, um, more than five years ago when I started the process of entering seminary. Um, I'm more excited because I've gotten to know so many good people who are doing creative and new and fun things in the church. Um, I've gotten to encounter uh, so many of the men at the seminary that I go to at Mundelein Seminary are just uh, impressive guys. Sometimes I just look around and think, wow, there's just a lot of talent in this room. Uh, guys who are musically talented, guys who have passions for the poor, passion for ministry to all sorts of different people that I aren't on my radar, but they're on their radar. And, and so um, in our Archdiocese of Dubuque, um, I see just good things going on. We have a great Archbishop who I think has a passion for guiding our, our, our faithful people here into a deeper relationship with the Lord. Um, we have so many good priests here, Father Steve Garner, one of them. Um, and so I'm just excited. I'm excited for all of the good things that are happening in the church. I'm excited to see what the Lord has for the church, for Holy Spirit Parish, for the Archdiocese of Dubuque over the next 50, 100 years of my life in the church. 
And so kind of with my preparation for priesthood, you know, I'm really here at Holy Spirit to serve and to minister, but also to learn. And so you have a, you know, a great gift for me, which is your knowledge of the church, your knowledge of, of parish life, um, you know, Holy Spirit Parish, you know, the tradition of the three parishes goes back a long way. And you have a lot of wisdom um, to offer me. And so um, I always ask parishioners to, uh, you know, if you've ever thought, hey, a priest should know this or not know that or don't do this or do that or, you know, we should think about things this way. Um, you should tell that to me, whether you give me a call or write a note, and leave it at the parish office. Um I'm going to be a priest next year. And so wherever I'm assigned to, whatever parish will benefit from you know what you have to offer me. And so I hope to be able to uh, preach well and minister well this summer, but learn a lot from you. I look forward to learning a lot from Father Steve Garner and Father Mark, um, great priests. Um, I also look forward to learning a lot from the parish staff. Um, there's a great parish staff here at Holy Spirit. Um, a very happy uh, kind of smiley bunch of people and so I've really over the last you know week or so really enjoyed kind of just being around them uh, so um, I'm really excited for the summer I know it's going to be a weird summer um, but uh, let's hold each other in prayer and I look forward to um, seeing you at mass seeing you around as much as I can if you see me walking around here on the north end uh, feel free to honk or wave I love going for hikes and walks. So um, thanks for watching. God bless. And I'll see you around this summer.